The problem I'm having is with my sanctification or walk as a believer, okay? That's, that's pretty normal, by the way. I get this a lot. Uh, just like salvation, I know there is faith required for my sanctification. Exactly. Um, Paul in Romans chapter 5, verse 2 says, by whom also we have access by faith. That's that second faith. There's the first faith. When you trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, he saves your soul, your position. There's the second by faith, which is your walk. We walk by faith, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, not by sight. Here in Romans 5, 2, it says, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. So this is a sanctification issue. He goes on to say, I know there is faith required for my sanctification, but I also know there are certain works we should do in the grace dispensation to glorify God here and earn rewards. He said rewards, plural, but we did the study. It's reward. Uh, anytime it's rewards, it's plural. And I know that's common in Christendom. Uh, that, that was, it's associated with bad things in, in, the script, in, the, in the scripture. It's the reward a reward or the rewarded inheritance. Anyway, he's on to something. You know, there are certain, there are works that we're, we're to do to glorify God to earn reward at the judgment seat of Christ. So that's true. Uh, the problem I have is differentiating, but uh, dif differentiating between what works will please God. So what works will please God? Uh, I've said before, I'm still young in the Lord and I have quite a few uh, sin issues in my life, which I understand. Uh, may take a bit time, a bit of time to get out. Now, I do want to encourage you, especially if you're young in the faith. God is a God of process. Uh, God, God he, he loves the process. It's a process of sanctification. So don't be too hard on yourself. God knows where you're at. Uh, if, if you're struggling with something, that's a different than being willfully wanting to do it. If you should, God is more than willing in his long suffering and grace and mercy to deal with you as you grow the pro through the process of sanctification. But here's the point. You and I today, the law of Moses is not the issue today, okay? Uh, there's no temple. There's no, there, you don't have to go to Jerusalem to worship. All that was under the law. Now, there is a religious system that's out there, legalism. But if you're, if, if, if you're listening to these messages that, I, that, that we share here at NorCal Grace, we're not under the law. We're under grace. So if, you're, if, you're, if you focus on hearing the, the word of God's grace, let me show you a great verse dealing with that. Go to Acts chapter 20. Look what the Apostle Paul says. Look at Acts chapter 20 and verse number 32. Because the fact that you're struggling is a, is a good thing in this. You desire to please God. You just don't have the power to. Number one, you're, you're still young in the faith. If you're young, you're not able to endure or deal with the same things when you, when you mature in the faith, okay? In Acts chapter 20, verse 32, notice what Paul says as he's leaving Ephesus. He says, and now, brethren... I commend you to God, and this is what I want to say to this brother, and to the word of his grace. What is the word of your, his grace going to do? Which is able to build you up. There's your edification, your sanctification. And to give you an inheritance. You're worried about the judgment of Christ, which is good. And to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. What, what, what Paul is saying, that it's going to be the word of God's grace. When Paul had that struggle in 2 Corinthians 11, that thorn in the flesh, he asked the Lord Christ to take it away. And he says, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength, my grace, my strength is made perfect in weakness. And so what you want to know is how to know that you're pleasing God. Well, it starts with the word of God's grace. Go over to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. Paul lays out. The process here, look at uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter number 1. And what we're going to see, the first thing you need to do is get the word of God's grace. That's what you're doing when you're studying Paul's epistles. Uh, if you're following our teachings with the, as we break down every verse of the Apostle Paul and rightly divide the scripture. Uh, look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3. 1 Thessalonians 1 3. Remembering without ceasing, Paul says to them. Now notice just three, three things. Remember without ceasing your work of faith. Like workmen, they got into God's word and got it into them. The next thing he says, and labor of love. So the first good work you can do for God is the work of faith, getting his word of his grace in you. 
That's why you have to rightly divide and study the epistles of Paul, or the work of faith. Now, when you do that, it says the labor of love or charity. It'll be God working in and through you. So you'll be pleasing him. You'll be bring forth, as Philippians says, the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ unto the praise and glory of God. And then the third thing he says, and the patience of hope, continuing faithful, trusting God's word, because there's that hope of glory. Over in Romans five, I quoted verse two, by whom also we have access by grace to this. We have access by faith into this grace where we stand. And he ends it by saying, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God, that hope of glory. Knowing that God's going to share his glory, we're going to reign with Christ, that reward of the inheritance we just saw. That's how you continue faithful in the doctrine. Now, what are these works? Well, with each of us, it's different. The work that I'm called to do as a member of the body of Christ is different than you. It is, it is up to you as you know who you are, what your skills, gifts, talents are to take and get, here's, here's your focus. Get the word of God's grace in you. And over the course of time, you'll, God will manifest this truth out through you in the way he desires for you. We're all different. What I'm doing is different from you. You have, you can do things I can't and vice versa. We're all different. Every joint supply though. So the, the main thing we all can do is get the word of God's grace in us. So that's your focus and be patient with yourself. God is a God of patience. He is a God of process. And as long as you don't willfully just rebel against the word of God and says, I don't care what God's word says. If you care and you struggle like the apostle did in Romans seven, that that's, that's a different Paul says the things I will, I want to do to please God. I just can't He'd out of power because he tried to do it under the law. If you're trying to do it in your own strength, it won't work. But that's why you can relax and just focus on getting God's word in you. That's why we do this week after week, sharing God's word, rightly divided, every, every word, the Apostle Paul, and these Q&As, okay? So you're on the right path. The work of faith, which will lead to the labor of love, and as Satan tries to throw things at you, you endure the patience of hope, that hope of glory. Thank you.